여러분 안녕하세요. Hi, welcome back to Korean language lesson for English speakers. Uh, in these lessons, we are learning about uh, uh, Hangul. Uh, it's uh, the general title is Introduction to Hangul, and already we learned, we studied about a uh, sixth lesson. This is seventh lesson. In previous sixth lesson. Uh, do you remember what we have learned? The lesson one is creation of Hangul. Lesson two, how to read uh, Korean alphabet. Lesson three, how to read uh, Korean letters. Lesson uh, four, how to read, how to write Korean alphabet. Lesson five, how to uh, how to write uh, Korean letters, and perhaps that's the uh, they can be the end of the lessons, because uh, it's uh, uh, most about uh, uh, most about uh, reading and writing can be covered with these five lessons, but I add six more lessons to add more uh, detailed aspect of uh, Korean reading and writing. Uh, up to uh, lesson 5, if you master up to lesson 5, uh, you usually you can use most of, most of Korean letters without difficulties, but uh, there are some letters, some letters, and there are some uh, syllables that combine together, together, which changes the uh, sound. So there are some more things that you should learn about it. And furthermore, uh, from le lesson 6 to lesson uh, 11, uh, I'll review uh, many parts of what you have already learned uh, from lesson 1 to lesson 5. Okay? In this lesson 2, it is about Korean vowel letters. But we already learned about Korean vowel in Korean alphabet and in Korean letter. Read and write Korean alphabet. Read, write Korean letter. The four lessons were given already. But we'll, we'll give more emphasis on vowel this time. Previous lesson. Lesson 6 was about uh, Korean consonant letters. Lesson 7 is about Korean vowel letter will uh, investigate more about vowel. Mm, let's get started. Uh, do you remember this slide? Mm, it's a review. You have already, you have already done, uh, learned it. Uh, so I'll review uh, shortly. Yeah. I don't need to spend much time, right? It's uh, about base and basic vowel in Korean alphabet uh, is composed of vowel and consonant. Uh, vowel, for the vowel, there are three, three vase vowel. It's uh, representing sky, earth, and human. If you don't know, uh, still don't remember uh, sky, earth, uh, human, you just need to uh, memorize what? This a dot. Uh, dot. This is a what? Horizontal line and vertical line. So, dot, horizontal line, vertical line, uh, three base vowel, base vowels, and it is read as uh, this is R A A A. This is R A A. But you learn that this R A A is not used anymore because it has been changed as a short line. Short line, this uh, dot uh, has changed as a short line. Uh, so uh, the other basic vowels are combination of these three, three base vowels, right? Hmm. Uh, this uh, this is R A R. This is U E. A Y A O Y O O Y O U U E. Do you remember the final two? Vowel is U and E. 
But uh, Korean bowl has some, some sound. Korean bowl has sound. So this is sound. Its sound is U. Its sound is E. But uh, the principle of a Korean uh, letter is that a letter uh, cannot be formed with just a, a single uh, vowel like this. Letter must contain at least one consonant and one vowel. So Sejong invented this Iung. Iung. Now you know the name of this one. Iung. Circle. And we put it here. But it's a consonant. But it hasn't got any sound. It's soundless. Soundless. So we call it a place of holding consonant and soundless consonant. Okay? Yeah, simply you remember what this is short line we don't use it it has been changed as a short line this is U and this is E this Iung is soundless uh, in previous letter uh, lesson in lesson 6 we learned it uh, quite a lot about uh, and this uh, character this special aspect of Iung okay As I told you, the uh, base vowel are combined to form basic vowels. Basic vowels. How many basic vowels are in Korean? Ten vowels. Ten vowels. Right? You know, a list of ten vowels is here. You can read it. If you cannot read this, perhaps you are not a good learner. Hmm. You must go back to the first lesson and watch the video again. You must, you must be devoted <laughs> and you must, some, uh, you must have some practice, sincere practice. Without devotion or without a sincere practice, you cannot master Korean. It's the uh, same for all of foreign language learning. Uh, if, I, uh, not, if I'm not devoted, uh, to learn English if I'm, I haven't got a lot of practice practice of English how can I master English reading and writing the same uh, you already start this and you must read this without any difficulties by this time yeah you read it ah uh, yeah Oh, yo, o, yo, u, 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 e. So to make it, uh, to make them letters, we put here yung, yung, uh, round circle, yung, yung, ah. Ah, uh, ya, o, yo, o, yo, u, 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 e. The same. The sound is same with the yung or without the yung. But, but for Korean letter, it must contain a list, at least one consonant. That's why we uh, put yung in front of here. Above here. Above here. And here, here like that. Uh, so, this is combination. Sky. What? Earth. So, we have O. o. What? Earth. Sky. We have O. Now, I not call sky, earth, uh, human. Uh, I I'll, I'll, I'll call it a uh, horizontal line. A dot. Vertical line, vertical line, dot, vertical line, dot. So, these four letters are a simple one. Simple one. O, U, A, A. Right? And if we uh, put uh, E and O, E and O is Yo, Yo. O, E, Yo. It's a, there are two skies here, two, uh, two dots here. 
There are two doors on your right. There are two doors on, on your right, on your left. So, instead of this dot, 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 what? A short line. Short line here. Short lines are, uh, uh, these dots were changed or uh, converted into short horizontal line, short horizontal line, short vertical line, short vertical line, short vertical line. This one, it hasn't got any horizontal or vertical short line, uh, without any. So, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. As, uh, what? One short, uh, short line, and this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, has uh, two short lines, and zero short lines. Okay? So, you learn that aya, oya, oyo, uyu, uyi. Perhaps uh, close your eye. Now, by this time, you should be able to say, Aya, oyo, oyo, uyu, uyi. Right? Writing the letters in your head. Write a letter. Imagine, imagine the shapes of a letter in your head. Right? In your mind, in your head. And read it. Can you read it? Aya, oyo, oyo, uyu. Uh, uh, you can read it in pair. Aya, oyo, oyo, uyu, uh, yi. Right? The shape of a mouse is same for uh, both two letters. Aya, uh, the mouse shape is same. Oyo, uh, the mouse is shape is same. We learn it uh, more detail uh, in later slide. And uh, the single consonant, a single consonant or uh, base vowel or basic vowels are combined to form more complicated vowels, especially the double vowels, the double vowels. Uh, there are two ways of making double vowels. The first way is uh, the basic vowel basic power into the base power into the by power we add e we add e to a certain basic power to make double vowels like this uh, to r is a base power if we add base power e it becomes a r e a if we uh, add E to O, O, E, E, it, E, E, E sound, okay? We add this bass vowel to O, it becomes E. If we add uh, E to U, uh, U is U. If uh, we add E to U, it's E, E. If we add uh, e to ya, it becomes e. Add i, a. Add e to ya, it becomes ye. So those one, two, three, four, five vowels are made by adding what? E. E. Okay. And another vowel is a. Uh, is a basic plus basic vowel. This one is basic vowel plus base vowel. A base vowel. This one is basic vowel plus basic vowel. Like O, A, W, O, E, W, U, E, W. Okay. Uh, and so we can make this 11 double vowels by combining basic and base vowels basic and base vowels so uh, now can you read this can you read this try yeah you put what here young 
circle, Ian circle, uh, then it sounds a uh, a uh, this yeah yeah this a uh, a uh, this is yeah 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 and yeah it two sounds are very similar but it has got more opened mouth a uh, a uh, mouth, uh, mouth is wider this one is wider. This this pair, uh, the mouse shape is wider than this one. Eh, yeah, eh, yeah. Wa, we, e, wa, we, u, e. Okay. Hmm. We, we. Okay, let's practice uh, once or twice. You read it. I'll confirm your reading. This one. Did you say a eh? like apple? A eh, apple. A. Eh. This one. A. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, this one. Eh, eh, like egg, egg, eh, egg, eh, this, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, I told you these are similar, yes, yeah, wah, wah, like waffle, 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 wah, where, where, like wagon, wagon, where, wagon, uh, uh, oyster, like oyster, oyster, uh, oyster, wa, wa, don't worry, wa, 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 don't worry, wa, wa, we, we, wait, we, wait, we, wait, we, 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 shall we, shall we dance, we, Shall we, we, shall we dance? We, we, we. You haven't got any proper example of this? We, we, we. Okay. And so, double vowels are formed by combining basic vowels and base vowel, basic vowels and basic vowels. Next is sound. Hmm. Do you remember this lips? It's a review. You have already learned it. Uh, if you can't remember this picture, <laughs> uh, you must uh, uh, watch the video again. Hmm? I uh, do you remember that I said a single a single uh, basic vowel and double basic vowel, a single sound. Single sound vowel, double sound vowel. I uh, I said you, I I uh, taught you, single sound vowel, double sound vowel. Uh, what was single when was double? Is about mouse shape, especially the lips, lips and mouse shape. Mm. To pronounce that vowel, if you need one. One shape of uh, shape of mouth, shape of lips is a single sound vowel. Okay, if you need two two shapes of uh, mouth to pronounce it, is a double sound vowel. Double sound vowel, right? When we uh, say it's a single vowel, double vowel, we are talking about the shape of letter, shape of letter shape of letter. So this all, this all ten, ten vowels are, we call it basic vowel. Because we are talking about the shape, shape of uh, the vowel, this ten. 
which are composed of what? A short line and vertical horizontal line. These are basic powers. But uh, within these basic powers, uh, these one, two, three, four are double, double, uh, double sound, double sound vowel. Because you see the two lips, uh, to say uh, this, we say ah, uh, ah, uh, like arm, arm, ah, uh, ah, uh, to say sir, ah, uh, mother, ah, uh, ah, uh, ma, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, mother, o, oil, o, oil, 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 oo, oo, push your, push your lips uh, in front, oo, 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 uh, 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 like when you say book, 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 uh, uh, book, uh, 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 book, uh, uh, right? E, uh, e, e, e. But to pronounce this one, we need to start from the this this position. Is uh, what some uh, all uh, that is uh, E position. This is a E, E shape, E shape, E shape, E shape, E shape. Start from E shape and to R. E R, E R. So, uh, combine together. E R, E R, E R. So, to, uh, to pronounce this, you must start from this position and end uh, at this position. E R. Same for. Yo, 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 yo. Same. Yo, 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 yo. Same. You, 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 you. Okay. Now it must be very, very clear to you why we call it single sound vowel, double sound vowel. Double vowel is not is different from double sound vowel. When we are talking about double sound vowel, we need two shapes of lips. But this double sound vowel is a basic vowel, a basic vowel. When it is a is about we are we are talking about the shapes of the letter. In the case we say it's a basic vowel, double vowel like this. So, when we combine single vowel, a single vowel uh, with e or u, e u e u is what is what is this? It's a base vowel, okay? Base vowel, e u is base vowel. If we the, we add e or u to a, a basic vowel, we can make a double vowel. Like uh, if we add e to r, is ya, ya. If we add e to o, is yo. If we add e to o, yo. If we add e to u, u, yo. Right? If we add a to a to uh, here, it's a uh, yeah. Add one more, yeah, yeah. Uh, this uh, what we call the Y type vowel, Y type double vowel. Uh, why? Because uh, it it sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. We need Y to pronounce it, so it's a Y type. You don't need to remember this. Mm. Just just know that uh, this one, like this. Ya, ya, yo, you, like this. Hmm. And uh, if we add u uh, and e, it makes a e sound, e sound. But uh, this is a very detailed aspects of a vowel that we uh, haven't learned in previous lessons. That's the purpose of this lesson. Uh, you, I'll teach, I, I want to teach you a, a very 
uh, specific or detailed aspect of a vowel. This letter ui, this letter ui is ui, ui. It sounds e, e, right? When it combined with the consonant. Here, ui, ui combined with what? H, 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 ha. So this is hi, hi, hi. But when we combine this ui with a consonant, uh, the sound is changed as i. Not hi mang, but hi mang. Muni, muni, ni, muni. We write, we write like this, muni. But when we read it, it's muni, ni, without uh, this uh, uh, horizontal line, muni. The same, chui, chui, chui. But when we uh, when we read it, we uh, read it as a. Uh, Chu yi, chu yi, right? We write like this, write like this. We read like this, we read, read like this. Mm. It's the uh, special thing of this letter, ui. Okay? If e ui is combined with what? A consonant, the sound is changed uh, from ui to e. Hemang. Muni, chui, okay. And furthermore, uh, when uh, this ui eh, is combined with uh, uh, u, used as chosa, uh, this is uh, uh, you haven't heard about chosa. Is post position, post position. You learned about preposition in English, preposition. Uh, but you haven't, haven't learned about post position. Uh, but in Korea, Korean alphabet, we have post position like this. Uri is we. Uri, we. No is you. If we make it possessive, possessive, we, we call it Uri, we. Our. Our. Right? This is no e. Your. Your. Okay? In this ui, we call it post position. Post position. Ui. Ui. It's, uh, it uh, represents possess possessive. Possessive. Uri ye, our. No ye, ye. Your. His. Ku ye. Ku ye. Like this. In the case, u, ui sound is changed as ye, ye. So, uri ui. But we really read it, uri ye. We write no i. And uh, we can read it no i. But in actually, we read it no ye, no ye. Let's, uh, let's uh, summarize. If we uh, add u and e and make a ui, 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 this, uh, this sound is ui, ui, it's alone, alone, it's ui, or you can add a uh, so clear, yung, so clear, it's ui, 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 but when it combines with other, 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 consonant, including ui, itself, like to ui, uh, the sound uh, is changed into i. Uh, so instead of hi, hi mang, hi mang, if we read it properly, it's hi, hi mang, hi mang. But actually we read it hi mang. It's, uh, it's right written and uh, read like mu ni ni but in actual conversation we read it mu ni because mu ni is much easier than mu ni it's same hi mang 
is more difficult than himang. Himang is simple to pronounce you know, rather than himang. We himang, we say himang. This one same is juwi, juwi. It's difficult to pronounce, pronounce it, pronounce. And so we pronounce as juwi, juwi. Uh, for the post position, this is possessive post position. Uri, our, your, noi. Instead of uri, noi, in actual talking, we read it. Uriye, noye, like this, uriye. Okay? Let's practice. This one is uh, read. Uh, read, uh, well, uh, not the, uh, in our ordinary conversation, read it as, as written. This uh, read, read as written. Read as a separate letter, uh, as written. Uh, so, uh, this one is hi. Mang, he mang, but actually we pronounce it he mang, he mang. This one is muni, buni. Which one is pronounced as muni, muni? Chui. We pronounce it chui. This one. Uri -ri. Uri -ri. Actually, it's Uri Ye. Uri Ye. Do We. Do Ye. Do Ye. Right? Uh, this one is uh, uh, made by uh, adding E or U to basic power. We can add O, U to basic or double vowel to make another double vowel. Uh, we call it Y type. Uh, no, W type. This is Y type because it has got Y. Uh, y. Y sound. So uh, this we call it Y type. This uh, I call it W type. Uh, in English, uh, sometimes Y and W is you call it half vowel, half vowel. Uh, in Korea, we say O U uh, is a half vowel, but uh, it makes uh, the learning more complicated. So I don't teach it. Eh? Mm. Just, just, uh, uh, just, uh, just think that there is a, a half vowel, such a thing. Half a vowel in English and Korean. Uh, the YN uh, W is half vowel, or U is half vowel in Korean alphabet. Right? So, to the basic and double vowel, we can add O and U like this. O and A are combined to, to form uh, WA. WA. O A e combined uh, WE. U e uh, combined to form we. The sound is uh, uh, the sound is combination of this like o a o a uh, pronounced together wa wa okay o a separate o a together wa quicker wa 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 this wa this one. O e, o e, e. Ah, uh, this one is a, is a mistake. Mistake. It should be this one. Huh? This e here, not not circle. This one must be come here. Uh, o e, o e, o e, we, we, u e, u e, u e. We, we. So instead of uh, wa, we, we, we put W instead. Wa, we, we, wa, we, we. And so we call it W type, double vowel. This is a W type, 
double vowels. Okay? Hmm. These are what? Y type double vowels. Y type double vowels. Hmm? Hmm. This one is special. It's special. Huh? Sometimes it is read as E. Sometimes it is read as Ye. Uh, if you need uh, a little bit uh, more time uh, to practice or to uh, understand this, you can click the uh, post, uh, post uh, button here and have some time, have some practice and read it, uh, read and uh, pronounce uh, this uh, part of the uh, double uh, vowels. Okay? And uh, come back later. I wait. Have you practiced enough? Uh, welcome back. Then the next aspect of the uh, vowel is a sound of vowels. We said the the vowel uh, vowel. Uh, there were ten basic vowels. Ten basic vowels. Do you remember? What are these? Aya, oya, oyo, uyu, uyi. Do you, uh, do you remember the shape of lips? Shape of lips. Aya, oya, oyo, uyu. Some are double sound vowel like ya. Yo, yo, you, uh, not you, not ia. Uh, if we uh, pronounce it in normal speed, it become ya, yo, yo, you. But actually, we use two lip shapes: ya, yo, yo, you, like this. Okay. Uh, and there are how many uh, double vowels? There were what? Eleven double vowels. Hmm. We learned it. There are eleven double vowels and then ten vowels. We'll, we'll see uh, later this one. Uh, this one is eleven double vowels. We'll uh, see later. Uh, but the eleven double vowel and ten double vowel, uh, the actual, actual position of this sound where the sound is made is different in the in speech organ. Speech organ. Speech organ is uh, uh, composed of what? Lips, teeth, cavity, cavity, and tongue. Okay? Tongue. So, we put tongue in different position for different uh, vowel. Okay, uh, we, uh, we can put the uh, position of the tongue uh, in this uh, nine, nine different position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But this is null, but actually it's uh, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so, this here, E, E is a uh, a sound is made what high level the tongue is in and the high level height height eh? high high level high position and what front high front position this uh, e is made sound is made in high front position i try this one it's like ill ill where? Where is your tongue? Ill. It goes uh, the high front. Ill. Ill. This is we like weak. Weak. We. Weak. 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 Where is your tongue? We. We. Here. Here. Right? Here. We. Where is we? Mm, it's not here. Uh, it's uh, here in this position and the central vowel is a uh, the tongue is in the central vowel central vowel high high center high center like uh, uh, 
like a good. Here, good. Uh, uh. Good. If you say good, your tongue, uh, the sound is made in uh, high central. High central position. Uh, uh. Now you know the what I what I mean. You yeah, know the uh, uh, what I'm explaining. Uh, these diagrams. This one is back, back, and high, back high, back high. Like a book. I say book, book, book. Ooh sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. The sounds come from the high back position. High back position. In the middle, in the mid position, mid high, uh, mid height, uh, mid height, middle height, uh, there are uh, in the front vowel here, some here, uh, is a, 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 like yes, yes, yeah. Oyster, uh, and about in the center, center of the cavity. This is a cavity, cavity, and this is center. Our tongue and the sound comes from the center of the cavity. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like about, ah, uh, about, ah, uh. ah, uh, here, back, oil, like oil, oh, oil. Uh, in low position, bottom position, low position, uh, front, front low position, apple, apple, say a, a, apple, apple. And here, uh, in middle position, arm, a, uh, arm. Okay? Uh, uh, this is uh, more detailed aspect of uh, Bowel concern, bowel sound. That's the purpose of this this lesson six. In addition to the review, reviewing the previous lessons, I added some more new things, like a previous uh, uh, slide and this slide. Okay. Uh, if you knew, if you uh, examine and think about the position and sound, or if you are going to. Uh, uh, try some uh, practice some of this sound. You can uh, click the pause uh, pause uh, button, and after practice you can come back. Okay. Hmm. Right. Have you enough? Have you uh, done enough practice? <laughs> Uh, perhaps uh, I, I uh, thought I'd better include a Korean and English com comparison. Uh, I did it for the consonant in, the, in lesson 6 and in this lesson 7 uh, it's a vowel. I want to make some comparison because uh, these lessons, all of these intro introduction to Hangul, these series le lessons are all for English speakers. This is Korean for English speakers. Uh, you hash, uh, your searching uh, term is a Korean KL for for ES for English speakers. So uh, I I thought it's better to make a comparison of two uh, alphabet or two letters. I'm comparing a two alphabet, Korean alphabet and English alphabet. About what? Vowels. Vowels. In Korean alphabet there are base vowels. There's a dot, a horizontal line, vertical line, which represent sky, earth, and human. But English, you don't have any such a things. You don't have any base vowels. Base vowel. Uh, we have a basic vowel. Ten, there are ten basic vowels in uh, Korean alphabet. Aya, Oyo, Oyo. Ah, the 
Order is changed. This one must come first. Oyo. Ugyo. Oyi. I asked to uh, uh, read it in pair because the mouse shape is same. For this, ah, uh, ya, yeah, the mouse shape is same. Ya, because it end ah. Uh, Iyo, it end o. Uh. So, ya, o, uh, same mouse shape. O uh, come first. Iyo, yo. Uyu, this one has got any a short line. It has only one long line, one vertical line, horizontal line, vertical line, earth, human. Okay? But in English, we say there are only five. Aye, yo, you know quite well. Aye, yo, aye, yo. This R is similar to here. A to similar to actually this double vowel. Huh? In Korea, we put the double vowel. A is here. A is here. Huh? Uh, e. e is here. O. O is here. U. U is here. Okay? Only D. E. E. Uh, A. A is not here. But a is here, a, a, okay? Uh, double vowel. In Korea, there are 11 double vowel letter, letter. It's, uh, we also is extended, extended, what? Alphabet. We call it extended alphabet. Uh, because in basic alphabet, in 24 basic alphabet, it's not included. But we extend alphabet for the we, you remember the 40, 40 alphabet? Do you remember 40 alphabet? Yeah. This is a part of 40 alphabet. But in English, there isn't, there isn't, there aren't any double vowel as a alphabet. As a alphabet. But here in Korea, there are double vowels as alphabet. But you use, you use double vowels uh, many, many type of double vowels. For example, uh, you use a double O, double E, like this, like a book, free. Uh, sometimes you use EA, ear, lie, etc., etc. There are so many. Uh, two vowel. It's not actually a double vowel. It's two vowel, two vowel letter. A word which include two vowels, two consecutive vowels. There are so many, so many. But there's not alphabet. There's not alphabet. It's a uh, uh, alphabet is uh, repeated, or is repeated, or a alphabet is followed by, by another alphabet, a vowel, a is followed by another alphabet E, E A, like this. So you can make a, a similar to Korean double vowel. You can use two American alphabet, American what vowel uh, as a, as a pair, as a pair like this, as a different. You can combine two different vowel to make a what not double. Two vowel, two vowel letter. Okay, is it clear? There are difference. In Korea, we have a base vowel and double vowel. Uh, you don't have double vowel. You have two vowel, two vowel. Uh, you vowel, you have a two vowel letter or two vowel vowels word, word like book, free, yeah, like. You, you can say this is a, a two-vowel word, okay? Mm. But in Korean, we said it's an extended alphabet. We call it extended alphabet. Uh, in English, there are only five, five uh, basic vowels. We have ten basic vowels. That's the difference. Yes, uh, for example, yes, 
Uh, yes, guayil, guedo, we like this. Okay? Hmm. I uh, made some exercise for your practice. Huh? Practice. The first one is what are the three base vowels and what do they symbolize? Uh, you learned it. Uh, I explained it at least more than five times. Now uh, you must remember what? Dot, horizontal line, vertical line. What do they represent? What what's the symbol? Means. In means sky, round sky, okay? A flat earth and straight a human standing on the earth. Uh, so nowadays a dot has disappeared. It is converted into a short line. Short line. So all Korean bowls are combined what? Short line and horizontal line, vertical line. Those three are a base vowel, base vowel, okay? Hmm. Write all component base vowels of the following basic vowels, like example here. This is R. Uh, what uh, what uh, sort of base vowel are included here? It is combination of what? E, E, and what? R, A, R, A, R, A. Let's call it dot, dot. Uh, this one. E and two dots. This one. Ah, uh, you must uh, fi uh, find the answer for this one. Uh, what well, this one? What comes first? Dot comes first. Dot plus what? E. Okay. For this one, how many dots? Two dots come and one E come after that. This one, one dot above and what? Horizontal line. This one, horizontal line and two dots. This one, are there any dots? No, no dots. Just what? Horizontal line and vertical line. Two base, two base vowel were used to uh, to make this letter e. Okay. Hmm. Uh, perhaps you you do, you it, do it by yourself. Huh? I'm explaining it, uh, but you can do it by yourself on your own. Number three, write all components, basic powers of the following but double bowels like apple, like sample. Uh, this uh, double bowel is composed of two basic power. This one and this one. E, e, right? E, e, e. It's basic sound bowel. That's it. It's a basic sound bowel. What a component of this? What a component of this? You should think about the basic power. Hmm. Wow. Ya plus E. This one is easy. O plus E. This one. O plus E. This one. O plus A. This one. O plus Y. Right? And finally, write all components base vowel of the following double vowels like the example. Okay, this one. All base, all component the base power. How many strokes? One, two, three, four. So there must be four base power. Because the, each stroke represents one base power. This one, one, another one, 
another one, another one. One, two, three, four. Two long vertical line, two short, short, well, short line. Here, dot, dot. Right? And what about this? What comes first? Dot, dot, two dots come first. And after that, there are two E. Two dots plus E. What are these? Dot, horizontal line, vertical line, dot, vertical line. Finally, short line, dot or short line, horizontal line, uh, vertical line, dot, vertical line, vertical line. Right? Okay, you, you write down your own answer in your notebook. Post this uh, video uh, for a short time by clicking the post button on your uh, left button and write your answer in your notebook and compare it with the next slide where I give you give you the answers. It's an answer sheet. You can compare my answer with yours. Okay? Post the video and come back after you complete your answer. Okay? Have you done it? Let's compare. Let's compare your answer with mine. With mine. Uh, the red, the red letters are the answers. This is Arya, Sky, Earth, E Human. It's Chun Ji In. It's Hanul. Hanul is Chun. Uh, a pure, a pure Korean language. A Korean language. Many Korean languages. More, more than uh, 50 or 70 percent are borrowed from Chinese uh, letter and sounds. It's what you call Shiano Korean. It's naturalized, naturalized language. But uh, we have uh, our own, our own uh, word for sky. Sky is Hanulin, Korean tongue. Original Korean tongue. Tang is G. Saram is in. So we used to say Chanji in, but uh, in uh, genuine uh, Korean word, it is Hanul, Tang, Saram. Okay? The others, uh, you can compare it. This is what? E dot. E dot dot. Dot E, dot dot E, dot U, U, dot dot U, E. Okay? Uh, this one is combination of E, E. It's E, E. E, E. E, E. E, E. E, E. E. O A, O E, right? Uh, finally, this one, E dot dot E, uh, dot dot E E, dot U, E dot E. Finally, U dot dot E E. Okay. Hmm. Now, is it more clear to you uh, about Korean alphabet and letter, especially uh, in aspects of a vowel? Oh, we learned that uh, there aren't many new new things you learned in this lesson. There are a few, like uh, e. Sometimes we read it e. Sometimes we read it yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, so, uh, by this time, you will be more comfortable with Korean alphabet and letters. We'll uh, add, I'll add some more lessons to uh, make your uh, efficient or fluent uh, Korean uh, letter and alphabet reader and writer. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, that's the end of this lesson. And these are the credits. Who am I? I'm uh, Iwa Guk. Kyosu, professor, the source, source, the original source of this letter comes from Kungnip Kugowon and Sejong Ah, uh, this is a very convenient, convenient site for you to make your uh, studying Korean very easy and comfortable. You don't need to search all the Googles. You don't need to search all the YouTube to find a, a suitable letter, uh, good letters, no, good lectures uh, to learn Korean. I'll build up, I'll build up uh, my site to, uh, it's a, a valuable, uh, to make it valuable re resource to learn Korean. At the moment, it is a, uh, uh, mostly for Korean who want to learn English but I led more more consonants day by day month by month uh, to uh, teach uh, especially to the English speakers to learn Korean actually my granddaughter-in-law uh, it means my daughter is living in the Seattle so my granddaughter, they start their school, uh, schooling. They are uh, age five, five now, mm, six, something like that. So I uh, developed this lesson, uh, considering, uh, considering my granddaughters in law, they must learn Korean, they must be uh, fluent bilingual. So I'll build up my site uh, to make it a valuable resource to learn Korean for the English speakers. Okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I hope to see you again. After 11 lesson, you'll be a uh, confluent English, uh, Korean uh, 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 reading and uh, writing. Uh, it will be very easy things for you. Hmm. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Annyeong.